just feeding into it. If he becomes president, he's gonna take this nation into the abyss with all that talk. Because now you you got other leaders in other countries that are showing their muscles, you know, so to speak. And you have an American president start to show his muscles, well, we're gonna build a military, ain't nobody gonna mess with us. You just asking for a fight, man. You're asking for a war. I ain't saying don't don't let it happen, because I know closer we get the closer we get to the coming of the Messiah. But it's obvious you, you're, you're looking for a fight. That's just like a bodybuilder putting on a T-shirt, tank top, walking around all puffed up, looking for a fight. You want some beef, man? You want some beef? You know. Everybody, every nation on this earth is trying to intimidate other nations. To see who got bigger balls. And I don't think nobody want to hear love and peace right now from a Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Don't nobody want to hear that, man. Cause you ain't, you ain't gonna, this, this, <laughs> this earth ain't filled with love and peace. Revelation ain't no love and peace in Revelation. You talking that, you talking that love and peace, uh, what's the guy from the Beatles? From love and peace. They got shot. Forgot his name. It ain't important anyway. Running around butt naked in the seventies and calling some love and peace. It ain't none of that ain't happening on this uh earth. Cause revelation got to take place. No, the book wasn't. The revelation wasn't there. So we can avoid that. It wasn't put there. The word is the word. It was put there because it's going to happen. And, tr and Trump is scaring a whole lot of people. But uh, it's some people that, that likes what he's doing. Like I said, these, these southern states love it, man. We in Tennessee, they love it, man. And they didn't want Trump tried to come to Memphis, but they told him he ain't coming here. He's not coming here. Because Memphis comprised of 90... I see roughly 90% blacks, so-called blacks. Nashville is, is comprised of a lot of whites. You got the, you know, Opry House, uh, Hee Haw Crap and all that. So there, you know, that's, that's more city is, that, that city is, has more whites and tenants in the surrounding areas is more whites too. <clears throat> Excuse me, more whites too, but Memphis is comprised of 90% black. That's why, the, and then, and, and, and I don't even want to get into crime statistics here in Memphis. It, it done got bad, man. It, it has gotten bad. And see, you only, as a leader, you, you should set an example. Now, if you want to, if, if you running for president, want to play the muscle game, everybody else gonna start pushing their muscles. This presidential election is something else.
and Trump, at every every one of his rallies, he just when somebody interrupts or start anything, he'll just look at his bodyguard like, "That's a gangster there," and his bodyguard come get him out of there. Now that at the all the Black Lives Matter movement, what they did the other night, they moved in, shouting Black Lives Matter. He had them kicked out. You got a white guy standing with a KKK shirt on. He doesn't kick him out. But the crowd, the crowd is angry about that. The crowd is angry about that. I give him that much. But that white guy should have got kicked out just long, along with them others. But you don't really come to, you know, they, they ain't doing nothing but giving this man more votes, man. They giving him more votes and keep he keep doing that to him. See how you ignore a, a person, especially like you on the internet and somebody types some stupid comment. Majority of the time, nothing but teenagers and you know, young people and some races and whatever, but you just ignore them, man. Ignore them. If they don't go away, something mentally wrong with them. Just ignore the comments. And that's what they should do to him. Ignore them. The more they come in his rallies and protest, they're giving him more votes. You're feeding the flame. This is a long video. I'm about to get up out of here. In Flint, Michigan. I, I, I Flint, Michigan. I, man, I, as soon as I see that water start turning brown, I would have got out of there, man. With the clothes on my back, with my family. I would have left with the clothes on my back, man. That, that's some crap. Drinking dirty water. They steady telling, steady telling you the water safe. Now you know that's common sense not to drink no brown water. That's common sense. I wouldn't bathe in that mess. I would've left. Job, uh, I just would've started over. I done started over many times in my life. Didn't have nothing. Your life more than uh. See, see, people have grown to believe anything a leader say, or whoever's in charge. Even we've grown to since kids, whatever your mom and daddy say, you gotta believe. You know you trust them. So all that that sets in your head when you become an adult. Your supervisor, you gotta believe what they say. Your mayor, your governor, your president. You see, they, 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 everybody went to that uh, Coliseum doing that New Orleans. They did what they said do, and look what happened. Stuck in there like Pat's uh, Roach Motel, man. Now look what happened in Flint. Y'all better, better stop doing what your government say and start using common sense. I'm gonna end it at that. Y'all get yourself together. That's all I can say. Y'all get yourself together. And believe there's a divine power coming. And it ain't gonna be nice. Shalom.